guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is day 10 of my fossil advent calendar and I thought I would do it on bellum night. So for those of you who don't know, bellum nights and ammonites are probably the most common fossil I've found since starting my channel and so I thought they definitely deserved a video within my calendar. So a bellum night, it's kind of like a bullet shaped fossil but it was a squid like creature and they are now extinct but they're very similar to modern day cuttlefish. So they came into existence around 200 million years ago during the late Triassic and then they went extinct in the late Cretaceous. Um, so when you find a bellum knight, it kind of, it looks like a bullet or a tooth and a, I've had a lot of people ask me what it is when they find it, but you actually find about one fifth of the creature. So if you find a bellum knight that's, you know, a good 10 centimeters long, that's only a fifth of the size the creature actually was when it was living. So you can find more of the creature, but it breaks apart when it dies. So you can find the Phragma cone, which is further down. It's like a cone shape. I will show you some examples and pictures in a moment. But um, obviously all the soft parts, they don't survive the fossilization process unless you're in an exceptional preservation state. So that's how we know what these creatures look like because we do have examples of fossils that are exceptionally preserved where we get the soft parts as well as the hard parts. So they're truly amazing when you find those ones and they're really key for like scientific research and kind of piecing together the past. So it's pretty awesome. But since being here in France, I haven't managed to find any Bellum Knights, sadly, but I have found hundreds in the UK. So I'm going to use some previous footage and also some photographs that I can find to kind of explain them to you guys. But that's just some quick facts about Bellum Knights. They're really awesome fossils. They're very abundant everywhere. Oh, my kettle just turned itself on. That's uh, my kettle telling me I obviously want a cup of tea, but that was kind of spooky. But anyway, I will get on with showing you some examples and we can take a look. So here is some footage from a previous video I did, so I'll try and link it down below if you'd like to see the video itself. But we can see this hall was mainly ammonites, but there are some bellum knights in the middle. So um, unfortunately I couldn't find a bellum knight dominated um, collection, but uh, this was the best I could find. So you can see that they're normally fragmented and uh, sometimes with or without the points. So I just thought I would include this so you could see what I usually find. So this is a recreation of what a bellum knight would have looked like by an artist. So you can see very similar to a modern day cuttlefish. And then here is the basic morphology. So you can see that the guard is the very common fossil that you find. And then the phragma cone is also something you can find. And apart from that, the rest is very rare. So this is what a common fossil would look like as a bellum knight. And then you can find really nice mineralized ones. So for example, they can look very shiny and pretty. And then the rarer ones are the phragma cones, but still findable. And then this is an example of an exceptionally preserved bellum knight. So you've got the hard parts and the soft parts being preserved. And you can even see the 10 tentacle like arms at the end there. So this is a very rare occurrence and you need very specific conditions to get fossils like this, but they do exist. So I thought I would include it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I do just want to mention that on day eight, I made a mistake with my conodonts video. Um, so there are some corrections in the comments below, but I think I muddled up skulkodonts with conodonts um, because they're both a new area that I'm learning about at the moment. So it's kind of easily done, but they're both um, like teeth and jaw apparatus of prehistoric worms and eels. So Generally, subject-wise, they're similar, but um, my apologies for those of you who know quite a bit more about them than I do. So there are some corrections if you'd like to read them, but maybe in the future I'll make a more detailed video about the differences between them, um, if you guys would be interested in that. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that in case you want to check it out. But thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. I'll link my fossil social media down below if you'd like to check any of that out. But um, thank you again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.